Hello. Are we streaming? Are we are we doing this? I don't even know. I, this is the first time I'm streaming. So, hello, welcome to the Football Bank. Currently have zero viewers, but hopefully that is going to increase in the future. I wanted to jump on the stream a bit earlier to try and catch the Bundesliga games. What have we got? So I highlighted this game, Mutchen Gladbach and Hoffenheim. Really high value for both teams to score, but I was just keeping an eye on this game. I don't know if... I... Hopefully you can't hear the audio, but I'll put that on mute anyway. Oh, well, there we go. They've scored. I was just I was just about to say both teams to score. No joke. Let's see the goal. Pretty decent. Good on Hoffenheim, even though they just had a player sent off. So, But I'm expecting Gladbach to get into the game. Probably win. This one, both teams not to score. Or under 2.5, I thought was... <laughs> yeah, timing, exactly, you know. I, I can always say, you know, the, the, I meant to place that bet. But, uh, yeah. Okay, all right. So, no, this game I identified her under 2.5. Uh, I really don't like betting under 2.5s because I. it just feels like, you know, anyone can get a penalty or a lucky goal, but Jesus, and they almost scored there as well. Um, but they're very low-scoring teams historically, both of these. We've got the upcoming Championship and Premier League games. That's what I'm going to focus on. I know I said, I know I've said in my first video, you know, don't place accumulator bets, but you know, a small accumulator is not, not going to harm anyone, um, especially because we don't have much data to start the season with. So, I mean, when, when I'm doing beginning of the season analysis, I'm really looking at last season form and, and so much changes from last season to this season, different players, different coaches. So, I don't know. Let, let's track the game, see what we can find. I think the, the prime moments for us are going to be, especially start of the season, because I don't have um, current season data, I'm going to be betting around the 50 to 60 minute marking games, um, looking for teams that should be winning and are losing, uh, and probably betting the draw. Botcher Mains. Mains have got a goal already. Okay, you'll see there I had a bit a small accumulator on under 2.5 in this game. Hertha Berlin, uh, Union Berlin to win the game. How are they doing? Yeah, they seem to be dominating. 27 to 7 dangerous attacks. Two shots off target. Seem to be doing well in that game. Um, this one, Bruce and Much and Gladbach to win the game, but both teams to score. It's good that Hoffenheim got, the get, got a goal despite being a man down. So hopefully Gladbach come back into that game. And then the Everton-Chelsea game. After seeing Fulham Liverpool, both teams to score, I'm not so sure certain off now. I put no in that game because I guess Everton are missing their their uh main striker. Oh, that's all oh, we've got something going on here in the Union Berlin game. Oh, and it's 1-0 to Union. Lovely. Let's see the goal. Oh, just skin the header off there. Let's can I zoom in there? Um so Bournemouth already 1-0 up against Villa. I wouldn't have heard that. People were saying Bournemouth were going to be weak coming into the season. Even their manager said that, you know, they just hadn't made the enough signings. I didn't really bet on any of these games. Tottenham, there's no value in it. 1.4. They should dominate Southampton. But yeah, Tottenham, no, no real value in it. Newcastle, Nottingham Forest. You think Newcastle would win, but you wouldn't, you're not going to rule out a draw. You're not going to Nottingham Forest. We don't. They're an unknown entity. Um, I think six is quite steep. Let's see how the game plays out. Um, maybe there might be some value in that later on if it stays 0-0. Zero, zero. Leeds Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton are really poor attacking-wise. I think Jimenez is out as well. Yeah, he is. Um, and Leeds, I don't know, last season they, they did kind of pick up. I'm not particularly a big fan of their coach, the uh, the American guy, but... Let's see how they do. This looks like quite a slow game. Could be an under 2.5 as well. When you say home, are you saying half half time over 0 0.5? They do look to be quite attacking, actually. They are dominant in the game. It's it's a tight window, 10 minutes. Let me see. Let's do some analysis of the Freiburg. Because, well, 2.25. I know Freiburg, are, I think they're a good team away from home. Let's see how they did last year. 
Right, do, 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 do. last season. Because we don't have any data for this season, which is... First week's always going to be rough. You just got to find one or two gems and, and hope... Hope you don't lose all your money in the first week. Uh, what are you looking at? Freiburg. Yeah, great away record. 7-5-5. Five, and five. Their style of play. I don't think they would have changed too much. Who are they playing? Freiburg against Augsburg. Not bad at home. Could be better. Let's see Augsburg's style of play as well. Attacking set pieces, attacking down the wings, shooting from direct free kicks, creating scoring chances. So they look to be quite strong in the air. Be interesting to see if that's how they're creating their chances. And then Augsburg, not really good at anything, just protecting the lead. Keeping possession, defending against counter attacks, through ball attacks. Yeah, the matchup is not exactly so. So what I'm looking for are, you know, based on last season are the things that freiburg are good at does that correspond with the things that Augsburg are weak at defending wise so here uh, defending against counter attacks defending against skillful players defending against through ball attacks whereas freiburg are more wait was one of the ones wings no freiburg are more attack down the wings attacking set pieces aerial duels so i think that's how they're Creating their chances, getting down the wing and, and crossing the ball. And it'd be interesting to see if that's the case, if we watch a bit of the game. Let's see if, if last season's na analysis. Oh, good block. Who's coming up now? Augsburg coming up with the ball. They're not really getting back quickly, Freiburg. It's dangerous. Yeah, I, I think the halftime bet is not... Wolves 1-0. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, the Freiburg. It, uh, I think you were saying, Darius, a oh, goal at half time. Yeah. Uh, for me, a 10 minute window is too short. Uh, if I was to do a half time bet, it, it'd probably. I'd watch the first 10, 15 minutes maximum. And if the team really looked like they were creating a lot of chances, I'd back the bet there. Things happened. Something not good. Oh, bottom one, mains one. What happens? It looks like a bullshit goal straight away. Let's see. What's going on? Keeper doesn't look happy. This is why I hate betting under 2.5. Okay. Passes out to the wing. Don't shoot from there. Don't tell me he... That's a joke. That is a joke. There... <laughs> you know, let me see. Oh, I'm never... Could I write the site where I check the statistics? You know, mostly I just... I mostly use um, who scored. So this website. Uh, there's a lot of data. Current year previous years, information about matchups. So I mostly use that site and then what would I use for XG analysis? I know, do you know? Yeah, sorry, for, for, for XG analysis, probably understat. Um, understat.com is, is good for XG analysis, but there you, I'm, you'd need data on like form wise data. So current season data, we just don't have that in the first week. I can keep it about that level. Let's look at the shots on target and all the all these. Oh, that's good though. Borussia Mitchell and Gladbach have got a goal back. Yeah, so it's kind of a waiting game at the moment. We will. The next opportunity will be sixty minutes in these Bundesliga games. Um, what's the Gladbach? I think in about 60 minutes, the Gladbach win is going to go up to about 2.1. And given that they have the extra man, it is looking likely the the momentum is, well, not momentum, but the game is, is leaning in favour of Gladbach. I think this is where we're going to place the bet. About 15 minutes time, if it's still 1-1, we're going to go for Gladbach win. I think that's the smartest play here. 
back, we're going to watch first 15 minutes of the Gladbach game, see if we're going to place a bet. I think this is going to go to around odds of, when we want to place the bet at, one, at 60 minutes, it's probably going to be about 1.92 if we're lucky. If we can get it for two, I'd really recommend placing that bet. Right, so we're just going to watch this. What have we got? 22, 8, dangerous attacks. On target, shots on target, three shots off target, three to one, shots on target, two to one. And Hoffenheim have a player sent off early in the game. They got a goal, but let's watch this for a bit. Slab back counter break. Four against three. It's a real nice opportunity. N yes. Oh, crossbar. Oof. Quite an open game for like three minutes into the second half. Freiburg steamrolling. Oh, I need to keep an eye on this game. Let's can I maybe I can just switch straight to uh, Freiburg. 2 0. We did say potential. Was that before half? Was that after half time? Before timeline second? Yeah, they came out strong second half. Unfortunately, it's not, not the time I would have placed the bet. You, usually, I wait to see how the second half goes because you don't know which team's going to come out stronger, who's, which coach had the better half-time team talk. But, no, fair play to Freiburg. It'd be nice if Bochum Main stayed 1-1. One, one, one. We really needed to. And then we need Gladbach to score. What have we got? We've got Union Berlin. That one's sorted. The early payout came in. We need Gladbach to win the game. We've already got both teams to score. This game to stay under 2.5. No more goals in that game. And then the big one is Chelsea later on today. I don't know what you guys think about the the results for the Chelsea game. No worries, Pravin. No worries. We'll, we'll do more, we'll cover a bit more on corners. I think it is an interesting market to bet on. I suggest you if you want to follow along as well, any probably gambling site that has live streaming of German games, I'd I'd recommend to follow that. Or if you're <coughs> lucky enough to have that on your TV subscription already. We're following Borussia Mönchengladbach against Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim have uh, had a man sent off in the first half, then got a goal. Gladbach came back and are now dominating the game. And the betting has just been paused. 2-1 Gladbach. We saw it coming, didn't we? If the stats had been updating, I'd have probably been had more confidence to go for it. Really nice goal. Really nice. Who got the goal? Turam? Well done. Well played, Gladbach. Would have been nice to have jumped on that. That was perfect timing. I said 60 minutes, but unfortunately, the, it looked like the stats just weren't updating for the game. Redbook Monaco is... Oh, no, our bet's been ruined. Our bet has been ruined. Bochum mains. We said under 2.5 and mains... As we said earlier, looking like the more favoured team have got a goal to make it 2-1. Look at this. Ruin it. Never bet on under 2.5 markets, guys. It's just, it's a, it's a killer. But yeah, I think for the, oh, Gladbach have gone up 3-1 as well. You know, it would have been, if we'd placed that outright bet on them, we should have done. The odds were decent considering Hoffenheim were, were one nil down, uh, one man down. 